Hey guys, Connor here with Chrome Designs and thank you for watching this video. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can create some 3D like sci-fi neon glowing text as you see here. Now it's kind of futuristic, kind of looks like science-y sort of. Uh, but you kind of get the gist of it, you know the sort of thing that we're going to be kind of creating. So it's going to go to File New and it doesn't really matter about your project settings. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fill it black. So I'm just going to go to the fill bucket tool and type black. And that is the people drilling next door. At a really inconvenient time. Alright, so let's just add some text. Uh, hit X to change your colour to white. I'm going to type in science. Use whatever font you want. I recommend some sort of science -y type font like this. I've got ethnocentric. And I'm just going to change crank it up a bit to 175 and there we go and I'm just going to add some uh, pro properties to this layer style so it's going to right click go to blending options and under the default tab it's going to change the fill opacity to zero so anything that's in the middle will not be shown but it's going to add a stroke change the color to white and it will just be the stroke that's showing change the size to about five and the position to center and that's looking okay for now. Now I'll click OK. Now if you go ahead and make a new layer, new layer, let's go into this tab down here. And if you click, uh, tick the site, the text layer, and layer one, click Control E, which merge the layers. You can either right click and merge, or just do Control E. Yeah, sorry about that again. They're still drilling. So yeah, once you've merged them layers, control E, right click, go to blending options, go to stroke, not stroke, sorry, color overlay, change whatever color you want it to, I've got one here, A-E-F-A-F-F, -F -F. yeah, light blue I recommend, whatever color you want to really use, I use light blue, and maybe add an outer glow as well, change the opacity to about 50%, uh, the size to about 16%, and the color to a lighter blue, like so. And that's looking okay, just hit okay there. And you kind of got those basic 2D glowy, sort of glowing outside text, pretty basic. So now you're gonna duplicate this layer, Control J, drag the duplicated one under the original, under the original. Okay, it's not seen, not appearing to do that. There we go. You might have to unlock the layer by just double clicking it. So on the duplicated layer in the middle, you want to go to Filter, Blur, and Motion Blur. Now change the distance to 20, 25. I, I like 20 because it's kind of, in fact, I'll use 25. 25. And the angle to about 90 degrees so it's vertical. Click OK. Now go to the Move tool and just hit down on your keyboard just so it kind of looks like 3D and it's kind of glowing down and that's a cool effect you know when you had a motion blur hit the down keys and it looks like it's sort of 3D now if you go on to that other duplicated layer they're pretty much done but I like to just add a stroke the color I like to change to light blue again uh, the size to one and where, where is it yeah the, I just really take down the opacity but if you notice there, it just kind of brings it out just a little bit more, makes, just kind of gives it that extra nice feel, I find. Uh, whatever suits you, you know, like I said, mess around with these properties and the, all the different settings on there. But no, that's how to create some neon, futuristic sci-fi text in Photoshop. Uh, it's kind of basic, use whatever colours you want, just add a motion blur and drag it down. Uh, like I said, you, you font. A kind of like a futuristic one I got, can't go ahead and change it now because I've rasterized the layer but you know there's quite a lot of futuristic ones go off, go ahead and search on Dafont to try and find one but no I'm going to cut it off here thanks for watching this video guys uh, be sure to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys soon bye